Hello everyone, this is Kik, and in today's episode we have a cure for AI hallucinations for you. The robot Aloha that learns culinary skills and kitchen routines from humans. The AI gadget Rabbit R1 that can provide up-to-date answers without date limitations. The smart floor from Disney that solves a significant problem for VR headsets. The unboxing of the electric car SU7 by the head of Xiaomi himself. The first electric Ikranoplans that will soon appear in Hawaii and Sierra Space blowing up a full-scale inflatable module of the future space station. All this and much more right now. Let's go. We start today's episode unexpectedly, with a cure for AI hallucinations. Yes, it turns out we already have such a thing. The startup Raga AI managed to attract funding of $4.7 million to develop software tools that simplify the detection of defects in neural networks. We're talking about such problems of modern AI systems as so-called hallucinations, or the inability to provide critically important information at a specific moment in time. Such solutions will increase the reliability and safety of artificial intelligence systems. The founder of the startup, a former NVIDIA and Texas Instruments employee, thought of about the necessity of creating such tools after an unpleasant incident with testing an autonomous driving system on the roads of California. The automation failed to timely recognize an obstacle on its path, as a result of which emergency braking was applied, avoiding a collision. As the founder of Raga AI admitted, he faced problems in the operation of neural networks while working at NVIDIA and Ola. Fixing errors in the operation of artificial intelligence systems is important in a number of scenarios that imply a high degree of responsibility, for example, in diagnosing cancer, servicing aviation equipment, and using artificial intelligence for personnel selection. Raga AI was founded in California even before the noisy market entry of the ChatGPT chatbot by OpenAI. The platform developed by it allows corporate clients to conduct more than 300 tests, identifying bottlenecks in the operation of their artificial intelligence systems. It allows identifying problems with object recognition and the appearance of garbage, as well as false data issued as truth. Moreover, Raga AI's development allows blocking attacks on language models, designed to make them work with errors. The main staff of specialists of the startup will be located in Bengaluru, India, and the funds attracted during the recent round of financing will be spent on its expansion. According to the head of the company, it is already cooperating with several large clients in the field of e-commerce, aeronautics, and processing of medical images. The Raga AI platform has already allowed them to reduce the number of errors in the operation of artificial intelligence systems by 90%. Meanwhile, robotics experts from Stanford University presented Mobile Aloha, an affordable open-source hardware system for the autonomous operation of mobile bimanual robots. To train the system to perform tasks with 80% success, only 50 demonstrations are required, after which a human operator is no longer needed. Similar robotic systems performing complex manipulative tasks were previously limited to stationary activities. That is, they often lacked mobility and agility. Key attributes for performing practical everyday tasks. Mobile Aloha is designed in such a way that its manipulators can easily coordinate with the main actions. This approach allowed it to autonomously perform complex tasks such as frying and serving shrimp, opening a two-door wall cabinet for storing kitchen utensils, calling an elevator and entering it, and rinsing a dirty skillet from the kitchen faucet. Training the robot involved a combination of direct control and observation. For example, to teach it to cook shrimp, it was remotely controlled 20 times with minor variations. This approach allowed the bot to understand different methods of solving the same task. The Machini also received data from previous training involving other robots with different routing tasks that can be encountered in the kitchen. Such joint training helped the bot acquire the necessary set of skills to work efficiently in a restaurant. By the way, the entire setup, including webcams and a consumer-level laptop with a graphics processor, costs about $32,000, which is much cheaper than ready-made bimanual robots, which can cost $200,000. And here's the developers of the sensational gadget Rabbit R1, which has already received 50,000 pre-orders, announced cooperation with the AI startup Perplexity. The main feature of the AI integrated into the gadget is the ability to always provide up-to-date information, not data up to a certain date, which the model received during training. For those not in the know, R1 is a unique gadget of a new format designed to improve the user experience. The device externally resembles the Playdate game console or a modernized version of a pocket TV from the 90s. It is about twice smaller than an iPhone, equipped with a 2.88-inch touchscreen, a rotating camera for photos and videos, and a wheel button for navigation and communication with the built-in assistant. Inside the case, designed jointly with the design bureau Teenage Engineering, there is a MediaTek processor with a frequency of 2.3 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, and 128 GB of built-in memory. The smartphone is lightweight and has pleasant-to-touch buttons and costs $199, which is unusual for a gadget with such promises. Why is the device so popular, although it is not yet available for purchase? 
delicious. It's all about the RabbitOS operating system and the AI technology supporting it. Unlike well-known large language models such as GPT-4, Llama 2, or Gemini, RabbitOS uses the large action model, a large action model. It's a kind of universal controller for applications. This system resembles Alice or Google Assistant. It can control music, order a taxi, make purchases, and send messages through a single interface. But it can do even more. Disney, meanwhile, decided to show the world the Smart Floor Holotile, which, as they themselves said, will solve a very important problem of VR headsets. Judging by the demo video, each cell of the Smart Mat can rotate independently of the other, thereby allowing a person to walk in different directions while remaining in place. The company did not provide details about the technology's operation, but showed that with the help of the unusual floor covering, it is possible to remotely control objects that are on it. Disney engineer Lenny Smoot reported that he does not yet know exactly where the technology will be applied. In his opinion, it is best suited for VR projects, dance, and theatrical productions. The video shows the first option as an example. Moreover, according to the video sequence, you can play with friends. The mat recognizes two people and allows them to walk in different directions. Let's go further. New products from Xiaomi are usually demonstrated by various bloggers and journalists after their announcement. With the electric car SU7, everything went differently. Its unboxing in front of the camera and a brief overview of the main functions were conducted by the head of the company, Lei Jun himself. The car is opened using smartwatches, which are enough to bring to its door. At the same time, the spoiler rises on the trunk lid, the side mirrors are folded, and the screen with the instrument panel is turned on in the cabin. At the same time, the video shows the operation of the driver's door closer and the function of projecting part of the instrument readings onto the windshield. The car demonstrated by the head of the company is presented in a turquoise color with silver inserts and is equipped with low-profile tires. It is known that the electric car will go on sale in the first half of this year. Its price has not yet been announced. Among the key characteristics of the Xiaomi electric car, low-profile rubber is highlighted, acceleration to 100 in just 2.78 seconds, as well as a maximum maximum range of up to 800 kilometers. Now let's take to the sky. The electric Ekranoplan Sea Glider is already ready to revolutionize coastal transport. In the past, the Ekranoplan concept was deemed unprofitable due to several limitations of the technology. But progress in energy and materials allows rethinking this idea. The company Regent managed to reduce hydrodynamic resistance with the help of retractable underwater wings as well as increase the range by skillful use of the screen effect and the design of the wings. As a result, the Viceroy Sea Glider aircraft was created, designed for 12 passengers or 1,600 kilos of cargo, not counting two crew members. The range is at least 300 kilometers at a cruising speed of 300 km h and a flight altitude of 918 m above the water surface. This is about six times faster and significantly more comfortable than on a regular motorboat. In addition, there is an opportunity to ignore much higher waves than boats of a similar size can afford. Compared to airplanes, operating costs are reduced by about half, and the Ekranoplan also makes significantly less noise. Judging by the pre-orders for a total of $8 billion, this idea was like and Regent plans to build a large plant for the assembly of electric ekranoplans. And what's kick without space? Sierra Space successfully tested a full-scale prototype of the inflatable space habitat LIFE. The aim of the test was to check the strength and tightness of the life shell, which stands for Large Integrated Flexible Environment. It must maintain the habitat intact, regardless of the pressure it experiences. The shell consists of Vectron fiber, which was used in the design of Mars rovers. It has the unique ability to become stronger than steel when inflated in space conditions. During the experiment, air exceeding the recommended pressure level of 60.8 pounds per square inch was pumped into the module. As a result, a controlled explosion of life followed, a key moment in determining the ultimate strength of the structure. All these tests are conducted with the support of NASA and are part of a broader program aimed at assessing the durability of the life module in space conditions. Sierra Space plans to conduct additional tests within a year, during which other elements of the structure will be tested. If life passes all tests, it can participate in space missions. Sierra Space stated that life can be easily packed into a small-sized cargo and inflated in space to the size of a three-story residential building. Connecting several life modules together creates a kind of space campus for living and working, which will be many times larger than the International Space Station. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss a fresh portion of handpicked news. Goodbye.